Welcome to Chris B Movies. My name is Chris, and I love B Movies. Today, a special treat, guys. I'm gonna show you some of my newly acquired toys. Yes, I'm 40-something years old, and I collect toys. But this one, I could not pass up. Cult Collectibles. You're gonna wanna go there after watching this video, because only 250 of these were made. And I have number seven. It is the John Roland Weird Wobbler. Yes, only 250 of these were made. Look at this. I love this because in one hand he has a pipe, the other one a movie camera. This is John Roland right there. And if you turn it around, this is really special. It has his birth date and year he passed. Great tribute to John Roland. The Grapes of Death are my is my favorite movie from John Roland. And if you've never seen Grapes of Death, go to Amazon and get yourself a copy. You'll be glad you did. So this is it, the Weird Wobbler, John Roland. Now over here comes with a card. It tells you uh, what number you have, but it shows you the Weird Wobbler. Oh yeah. On the back, lucky number seven. Beautiful thing. It also has, I'm gonna show this to you, uh, some rare film strips from my favorite genre long film, Grapes of Death. I'm going to show this to you. It comes with every Weird Wobbler. I don't know if you can see that very well. But yeah, check it out. Here's the other one. Probably won't be able to see it that well, but you know, it's a little, uh, a little And I'm going to show you the box now. What I put the box? Okay. The box is right here. And they talk about Jean Roland over here. Very nice tribute. I love the artwork. Here it is. Jean Roland, weird artwork. And then more beautiful artwork. Oh yeah. Very choice. I highly recommend you get some because they are going off the shelves, my friends. Yeah, Jean Roland. Especially if you're a big fan of Jean Roland, you definitely get the weird artwork. Now, I was in New Hampshire with my wife or an old record shop. And you know, when I see an old record shop, I have to go inside. And I was looking around and I found this. Oh yeah, a Pop Rocks. And this is number 49 of the Lemmy Master from Motorhead. I saw this and I bought it immediately. I've been a fan of Motorhead since my high school days. First time I saw the video of Mean Machine, yep. Fan for life. Love Lemmy, love Motorhead, love Hawkwind, another band he was in. Oh yeah, love uh, that he's in some trauma movies. You know, Trauma and Juliet, Toxie 4, oh yeah. And here, in the back, they show a picture of the Lemmy, Lemmy Pop Rocks. And the Motorhead Insignia, oh yeah, some more Lemmy. So I couldn't pass that one up, no way. Now I'm going to show you some uh, Blu-rays I have acquired. Oh, yeah. So this is the Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals with the slipcase, which um, I think only 2,500 of these were made. Yeah, check out the slipcase. Okay. Now I'm going to take the... And this is from Severed Films, by the way. I'm going to take it. And here's the other cover art, which I love. I love that cover art, but I really love this cover art. And I'm doing it upside down. Yeah, awesome sauce. Here you go. So I'm gonna open this up, and over here is the CD. It comes with a CD, the soundtrack. So uh, Amazon still has copies of this, and this is the Blu-ray. And again, only 200, 2,500 of these were made. 2,500 units were made. Love the cover on the discs, by the way. So yeah, pick this up as soon as possible. Um, I got it for really cheap. Lucky me. <laughs> and I've actually never seen this film. Um, the only Emmanuel film I saw was of uh, when I had Cinemax when I was a kid. And I'd sneak downstairs when my parents were asleep. The old Sylvia Crystal Emmanuel films. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I got nothing from Grindhouse Video. And I love Grindhouse Video. Need to go there get some stuff. And it is the distributor of Dustin Mills films. So if you're a Dustin Mills fan, want to get some of his newest stuff or want to get some of his older, older stuff on Blu-ray... 
Grindhouse video. Go there. And I got the only Dustin Mills film I did not see, and that is The Puppet Monster Massacre. Now, anything titled Puppet Monster Massacre, uh, this guy, this guy is going to enjoy. I know I'm going to enjoy this film. I saw Snuff It not too long ago, and um, the first time I saw Snuff It, I felt so bad for those puppets. I almost felt dirty after watching it, but the more I watched it, the more I ended up really loving it. My favorite Dustin Mills film, of course, is Applecock, Pure and Utter Genius. And again, guys, movies are subjective. You like what you like. So you can't be wrong for what you like. But Applecott is my favorite Dustin Mills film. Although I haven't seen this one yet, and this could be my favorite one after watching this. And I got one more thing. Takeshi Miike film from Arrow Video. And y'all who are watching this, you probably already have it or seen it a million times. But I've been wanting this for a long time. The Happiness of the Katakuris. And I do love Audition and Ichi the Killer. But I've never seen this film. So uh, I cannot wait to check it out. And I'll be checking out ASAP. <laughs> And of course, last but not least, I showed you this once before, I gotta show you this again. This is the best thing I have ever owned. VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, put it all together, this is the best thing I've ever owned. On home media. Oh yeah. And I'm sure a lot of you own this, but it is so worth the expensive price. It has every, every Hershey Gordon Lewis film. Yes. I just actually watched Blood Feast a little while ago and I fucking love Blood Feast. I love the end scene, the chase scene. And I love the end scene. I love how it ends. It's absolutely hysterical. The dialogue is great. Love Blood Feast. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And tune in because more is on the way. Just remember, guys, happy buying means happier watching. Yeah. Now I'm going to watch my genre in Weird Wobbler. I'm just going to watch it right now while I turn this thing off. Later, later, dudes.